Why, well, good evening, folks. Thrash Pondo here, and I'm asking you, as always, to like, subscribe, forward, and all those other nice things. Now I should move on to my content. Yes, I'm sure as many of you recall, I recently did something I will now refer to as one of my creepy classics. This is the top 40 song that, while it seems on the surface to be a happy, fun, sing-songy song, on closer examination, it's actually kind of disturbed and unsettling. And the last one was actually very well received. I received some very positive feedback from many of you. Um, some feedback that was not quite so positive as the very positive. But one thing I asked is that for people to make other suggestions towards songs which could fit into this category. And remarkably, there were more than I envisioned. <clears throat> one in particular, and this is a friend of channel uh, post, I guess you could call it. It goes out to Mr. Led, who suggested the 1970 one-hit wonder song, Timothy. And, uh, anyway, Mr. Led, thank you very much. Also, thank you to Mrs. Led and all the little depleted uraniums. But this is kind of a very interesting song. As I did some research, I found that it yielded a virtual cornucopia of trivial information, which I will now share with you in as coherent an order as possible. First off, the plot of the song is something that we're not unfamiliar with. Uh, miners suffering from a cave-in. In the spirit of Big John, or or even the Jerry Reed song, She Got the Gold Mine and I Got the Shaft. But in this case, what happens is three miners are stuck behind and eventually start to succumb to starvation. And it's odd because it's this very sort of happy and intense and upbeat song, uh, very similar to Billy Don't Be a Hero, which could also constitute a, a valid place at this type of venue, but I'll have to save that for a later post. What makes this one especially creepy is um, as they succumb to starvation, they come up with an interesting concept, as it was once said in the old 80s English cult show, <clears throat> the young ones, what's the definition of hunger? Too many people, not enough food. All you have to do is change the ratios. And effectively, that's what they do. Uh, the narrative singer passes out from lack of food, wakes up wondering where his friend Timothy is, and with a full stomach. Uh, supposedly, he's blocked the whole thing out, whether or not we can believe that. It doesn't really matter. But, again, it's this... the time-old problem of succumbing to starvation and then kicking yourself afterwards. Now, a few interesting things about this song. It was written by Rupert Holmes, who gave us the Pina Colada song. Possibly the nicest song about infidelity and doing very unsanitary things on Cape Cod beaches, to my knowledge. And again, he tended to write very upbeat songs that have um, kind of grim inner meanings. But what really struck me as amazing in this case, or at least synchronistic, is that he actually named one of his sons Timothy. I'm sure that was an unrelated matter. Moving forward, one of the funny things, though, moving forward from this uh, uh, project is it reminded me of an old film that I knew a friend of mine had given me years ago, the, the cut arm, the missing arm, the disarm, and I actually did some digging, and I actually found it's called The Severed Arm, I want to say from 1973, and it's a shockingly similar plot, some uh, spelunkers doing research in an abandoned mine, inadvertently cause a cave-in, start to succumb to starvation, and sever one of their compatriots' arms um, to serve to nourish them. Uh, they are almost instantly then 
rescued, making the severing of said arm completely superfluous. And long story short, the arm then goes on a quest of revenge. I didn't say it was a good plot. Also, it's not particularly original. There have actually been a lot of movies and TV shows about severed hands coming back for revenge. Um, Of course, shout out to Ken Wilkinson. One of my favorite Doctor Who of the Tom Baker years was the, the Hand of Death. Eldrad must live. <gasps> Ooh, I almost knocked my backing down on that one. But anyway, uh, one thing I just wanted to bring, to the, rather than go through all of them, was one in particular that I thought was very, very interesting. Was to those of you old school horror sci fi film buffs who might just remember the. It was 1959-1960 film, uh, The Crawling Hand. Again, uh, spacecraft crashes, a uh, boy becomes possessed by it and goes on a quest for revenge. Not really sure. It's more of a teen angst film than an actual sci film, but regardless. One of the classic scenes involved when the boy is in sort of uh, possessed fugue state, he stumbles upon the local soda shop where he sees the proprietor cleaning up and assaults him. And over the course of the attack, the jukebox gets bumped, turns on, and starts playing Papa Umau Mau by the Rivingtons. Umau Mau, Papa Umau Mau. Say Papa Umau. It's copywritten, so I better stop right there. The coolest thing about this is it's it became a trope, as the kids say these days, which we've seen later in future sci-fi and horror venues, where you have a very grim experience going on on camera, but a very sort of up-tempo, or at least not <laughs> rhythmically appropriate song in the background. For you X-Files fans out there, the very controversial episode, Home, when the... Family of Killers goes on a killing jag. In the background, they're playing the Carpenters' Rainy Days and Mondays. Well, being killed by a family of mutants will always bring me down. And, of course, in Shaun of the Dead, where they're taking out the zombie in the pub to the tune of uh, Nothing's Gonna Stop Us Now by Queen. So, again, just as I was doing this song, it it just seemed like it brought up all kinds of little little pop culture gems that I thought I would share with you. So, did I leave any out? Are there any movies about severed hands that you wish I had covered? Wouldn't you give your hand to a friend? Let me know in the comments section. I'd be happy to do more, or less, as the case may be. In any event, this is all i got for you folks tonight. Be safe, be careful, be good, and I'm looking forward to seeing you all again very, 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 very very soon. Peace.